This story is about Howard Beale, who was the network news anchorman on UBS TV. In his time, Howard Beale had been a mandarin of television, the grand old man of news with a hot rating of 16 and a 28 audience share. In 1969, however, his fortunes began to decline. He fell to a 22 share. The following year, his wife died, and he was left a childless widower with an 8 rating and a 12 share. He became morose and isolated, began to drink heavily. And on September 22, 1975, he was fired, effective in two weeks. The news was broken to him by Max Schumacher, who was the president of the news division at UBS. The two old friends got properly pissed. I was at CBS with Ed Morrow in 1951. Must have been 1950 then. I was NBC uh, associate producer. Morning news. I was just a kid, 26 years old. Anyway, anyway, they're building the lower level of the George Washington Bridge. We were doing a remote from there. <laughs> and nobody told me. <laughs> then after 7 in the morning, I got a call. Where the hell are you? You're supposed to be in the George Washington Bridge. I jump out of bed, <laughs> throw my raincoat over my pajamas, I run down the stairs, I run out of the street, hail a cab, and I say to the cabbie, take me to the middle of the George Washington Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and the cabbie turns around and he says, he says, don't do it, buddy. You're a young man. You got your whole life ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you that one before? <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, shit, Howard. Oh, I'm gonna blow my brains out right on the air, right in the middle of the 7 o'clock news. Get a hell of a rating, I'll guarantee you that. 50 share easy. You think so? Sure. We can make a series out of it. Suicide of the week. Why the hell, why limit ourselves? Execution of the week. Terrorist of the week. I love it. Suicides. Assassinations. Mad bombers. Mafia hitmen. Automobile smash-ups. Death Hour. Great Sunday night show for the whole family. Wiped that fucking Disney right off the air. <laughs>